Okay, uh, in this video we solve this differential equation using Laplace transform. First, we notice that we need to apply the Laplace transform on the left and on the right, but here we have a second derivative, then we need to use this formula. Laplace transform of the second derivative of y with respect to t squared is equal to s squared Laplace transform of y minus y of 0 times s minus y prime of 0. And as usual, we also need to solve to use this formula. s times Laplace transform of y minus y of 0. Then, by applying these two formulas, we get that the Laplace transform of this second derivative is s squared Laplace transform of y minus y of 0, y0 zero is negative 2, then it will be plus 2s minus y prime of 0, this is the Laplace transform of the second derivative, plus 6 times, parenthesis, <coughs> here we have s times Laplace transform of y, minus y of 0, would be plus 2, plus 5 times Laplace transform of y equal to the Laplace transform of u3 of t times a times e to the negative 3 t minus 3. And to compute the Laplace transform of that function, we need to use this formula. Laplace transform of the UA shifting of a function is equal to e to the negative AS, Laplace transform of the original function. Then, um, in this case, this would be equal to e to the negative 3S, A is 3, times the Laplace transform and the original, you get the original by forgetting about this part, the heavy side function, and any time you see that t, I replace it with t plus 3, then I get Laplace transform of a times e to the negative 3t. And replacing t by t plus 3, t plus 3 minus 3, just give me this. Okay, what can I combine here? Here I have an s square, which is this part. When I do this times this, I get plus 6s. I'm going to see what multiplies Laplace transform of y. And finally, plus 5 times Laplace transform of y plus 2s. Here we have a minus 1 and plus 12. We give it plus 11. And that's it. It's equal to that. Then I have that s squared plus 6s plus 5, Laplace transform of y, and I'm going to move this to the left, it would be minus 11 minus 2s plus e to the negative 3s times, and the Laplace transform of 8 e to the negative 3t is a over s plus 3. Okay, but then uh, in order to solve for the Laplace transform of y, we just need to divide by this factor. And here we see this factor is s squared plus 6s plus 5, and here we have this times s squared plus 6s plus 5. Then we have solved for Laplace transform of y. Okay, then we have this situation here, and now, as usual, we need to solve, we need to find two Laplace transform inverse. One for this, and the other one for this part here. Let's do that. Um, in order to find the Laplace transform inverse of this, we rewrite. We have, let me write it here, negative 11 minus 2s over s squared plus 6s plus 5. Then, before we do 
partial fractions, we need to check if this polynomial is irreducible. We have to ask ourselves, is do we have, can we factor this? And then it's equivalent. Does this equation have a solution in the real numbers? And we notice that, yeah, it does. We can factor this as s plus 1 times s plus 5. That means that we need to factor it before doing partial fractions. And is, this is negative 11 minus 2s over s plus 1 times uh, s plus 5. And then we can write this as a times s plus 1 plus b times s plus 5, and then this is equal to a times s plus 5 plus b times s plus 1 over s plus 1 times s plus 5. Now we compare this numerator with that numerator to set up the system of equations. Then we have, what is the coefficient of s? We have an a plus b, we have a plus b equal to negative 2, and here we have 5a, the constant coefficient, here is 5a plus b, this is equal to, the constant coefficient here on the left is negative 11, if I do this minus this, this equation minus this equation, I get 4a equal to negative 9, and therefore a is negative 9 quarters. And if a is negative 9 quarters, then b is negative 2 plus minus a. It would be plus 9 quarters, and this would be just 1 quarter. That means that this a is negative 9 quarters. And this B is one quarter. And that means that this expression can be written as the Laplace transform of uh, negative nine quarters e to the negative t plus one quarter e to the negative five t. This is this part here. We also need to compute the Laplace transform inverse of this part, of this part here, because we want to use this formula from right to left, so that we can write this as the Laplace transform of a function. Then, uh, let me just write here that we already know that Laplace transform of y is the Laplace transform. This part is the Laplace transform of one quarter e to the negative 5t minus 9 quarters e to the negative t. And then we are waiting for this part. This part will have like a u3 of t, and we are waiting for the function that we need to write down here. That function comes from the Laplace transform inverse of this by changing the t to t minus 3. Let's see what we have here. Then, to compute the Laplace transform inverse of this part, we have to do partial fractions. We already know that, uh, that s squared plus 6s plus 5 can be written as s plus 1 times s plus 5. Then, we are ready to do Laplace partial fractions. We have a over s plus 3 plus b over s plus 1 plus c over s plus 5. And then we make sure to have the same common denominator, s plus 3 times s plus 1 times s plus 5 times, here we have a times s plus 1 times s plus 5 plus b times s plus 3 times s plus 5 
plus C times S plus 3 times S plus 1. And then we want to make sure to find the equations. We want to have this numerator equal to this numerator, but this numerator is A times. Let's do when I do this product. Actually, this product, we already know that S plus 1 times S plus 5 is X squared plus 6S plus 5 plus B times B times when I do this product I get an S squared and then I have a 5S plus 3X is 8S plus 15 and then plus C times here I have an S squared and then I have an S plus 3S plus 4S plus 3 and I want this numerator to be equal to uh, 8, which is 0s squared plus 0s plus 8. I have to compare these two numerators to find, to find a, b, and c. We set up the system of equations. What is the coefficient of s squared? I have an a plus b plus, when I multiply this by this, plus c, and the coefficient of s squared on the right is 0. And then, coefficient of s, I have a 6a plus 8b plus 4c. And I want that to be also equal to 0. And the constant coefficient would be 5a plus 15b plus 3c and I want that to be equal to 8. This is the system of equations which you can solve either by substitution. You can find a from here. You can solve for, or you can solve for c and then you replace that c into these two equations and you get a 2 by 2 system. But this time I'm going to Omit that and I'm going to just give the solution. The solution is A equal negative 2, B equal 1, and C equal 1. We can check the negative 1 plus 1 plus 1, so negative 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 0, negative 12 plus 8 plus 4 is 0, and negative 10 plus 15 plus 3 is 18 minus 10 is 8. Then that means that this expression, this expression I can rewrite it with A equal negative 2, B equal 1, and C equal 1. That means that all of this was to rewrite the expression. Right? And that means that this is just the Laplace transform of negative 2 e to the negative 3t plus e to the negative t plus e to the negative 5t. And then that means that uh, this part using this formula from, from right to left is just the Laplace transform of u3 of t times uh, this function e to the negative but instead of t we need to write t minus 3 plus e to the negative 5 times t minus 3 minus 2 times e to the negative 3 times t minus 3 and since the Laplace transform of y is equal to the Laplace transform of this expression we get that our solution is y equal to 1 quarter e to the negative 5t minus 9 quarters e to the negative t 
plus u3 of t times e to the negative t minus 3 plus e to the negative 5 times t minus 3 minus 2 times e to the negative 3 times t minus 3. Then this is the solution of this initial value problem. Okay, this is it for this video.